Sportly vs 4D. Which brand makes the better bicycle panniers and bags? Well, we've tested that over the last 7 months and about 10,000 kilometers, and now we thought it's time to share our experiences and our opinions with you. As you might know, we have some quality issues with some of our 4D bags, which inspired us to take a closer look and compare the products we have of those two brands. In this video, we will discuss five different topics. The features of the different panniers and bags, the quality of the, different, of the two different brands, the um, portfolio that's available, the different products available from each brand, the customer service and spare part availability worldwide, and finally, our verdict. So before we start with topic number one, the features, we will have a look at what bags we actually have. Um, so at the front, um, I'm starting with the 4D bags and panniers. Um, I have the Aqua front and then Toby and I both have the Aqua back from 4D. Um, and then from Ortlieb, all our stuff is, um, belongs to the free series, except for the uh, waterproof bag for our guitar. Um, the handlebar bags are both uh, Ortlieb Ultimate 6. I have the 6.5 liters and Toby has the 5 liters bag. And then we both have rack packs um, from Ortlieb, um, both 31 liters and they're just in different colors. Um, and Toby has different um, front panniers. He has uh, Ortlieb front panniers and um, that's the Sport Roller series. Um, yeah, and then we have this waterproof um, bag, it's 109 liters, the biggest bag they have. Um, yeah, and it's just for our guitar. And that's, as I said, the only thing that's not P PVC free. All right, topic number one, the features. Um, we're not going to compare every feature of every type of pannier and bag that we have of the two different brands, but we're just going to compare the yeah, the classic panniers from 4D to the classic panniers of Ortlieb. Even though these are both um, the smaller versions, um, the features are essentially the same in the larger ones, so we'll just compare these two. Um, before we start, it's important to mention, um, 4D, all of their panniers are PVC free. Ortlieb, not all of them are PVC free, but that's why we have the free line of Ortlieb, which also doesn't have PVC in it. Um, this was important for us for ecological reasons. Um, then, also important to mention, now comparing these two uh, front panniers, the Aqua front from VD are a little bit larger, they are 14 liters per pannier, whereas the Ortlieb uh, Sport Roller are only 12.5 liters. And comparing the rear panniers, the VD Aqua Back, a 24 liters per pannier and the um, back roller which we don't have yet from Ortlieb um, they are only 20 liters per pannier. All right let's start by taking a look at the back of the panniers. So as you can see immediately the 4D have a big uh, solid plastic back wall whereas the Ortlieb only have this little bit of reinforcement here and a thinner much thinner than this a plastic sheet in the back and comparing these over the last few months um, we definitely prefer this solid back wall um, because this thin reinforcement in the Ortlieb actually tends to deform and bend over time which can make it a bit more tedious to get them onto the onto the hooks. This does also deform especially on the back you can see how it's angled in um, but it's still much more solid and when you have like things like a laptop in there it's just nice because it holds the form so you can put much bigger things in the panniers. Um, looking at the, the hook at the bottom which fastens pretty much the pannier to the bottom part of your carrier. Um, as you can see the Faudet hook is a lot smaller which is pretty annoying actually because in some instances it's not so easy to get a good tight grip with this. Um, the Ortlieb hook on the other hand is much bigger but here you have much more space to adjust the smaller hook 
Whereas with this, you are a bit limited, even if you flip this around, which you can do, it's still a smaller range of motion. Um, so ideal would be this range of motion with this size hook. Um, then taking a look at the, um, the quick release hooks at the top, um, what it does actually have a much a newer uh, third generation, if I'm not mistaken, system now with just a rail, but we still have the 2.1 system of the quick release hook. Um, and here in direct comparison, whereas the VD hooks, if this is the rail, kind of push on like this, and you pull up to release them. With the Ortlieb hooks, you just have, this actually stays in place and you just have this little uh, piece that slides under the rail to fasten it. And with lots of debris and dirt and whatever flying around, we have experienced that this is a lot easier to maintain and to keep yeah, in working order than this, whereas sometimes we haven't been able to get our VD panniers off because of, there's been stones or debris in there and we literally just couldn't undo this mechanism, which is pretty annoying sometimes. Um, so, also, um, before I forget, here everything is fastened with a simple yeah, screw, which pretty much locks it in place, whereas with the, um, with the Ortlieb system you have these um, this quick release, so you can kind of then open it up. <laughs> we haven't opened it since we got in the bag, so it's a bit jammed now. But in, in, yeah, in theory, you can just open this up, slide this around, lock it in place, and it's much easier and nicer um, yeah, on the Ortlieb system. All right, then let's have a look at the front. Um, as you can see, these both have a little bit different uh, ways of fastening themselves. Um, both are roll-up panniers, making them waterproof, and essentially if you roll them up twice or three times, they are pretty much waterproof. Um, the 4D bag has a long strap going to the back, which goes around to clip in here and fasten it pretty much. Um, this is pretty annoying because when this is on the bike, this thing hangs in the spokes and it's really easy to, yeah, just have it in the spokes. You don't want to close your bags up because we, I don't know, moving the bags around the hotel, uh, the bikes around the hotel room, for example, and this can just get caught in the spokes and even break. Um, which is pretty annoying. Ortlieb, on the other hand, has the strap going to the front, which is, I have to say, a little bit nicer, because then you don't have this, yeah, you can just clip it in, and this just hangs down to the bottom and not in the spokes. Um, once rolled up, and this, when this is fastened, here you have on the VD, uh, yeah, on the VD bags, two more clips to fasten it in place to the side. Um, here, the Ortlieb solution, in my opinion, is also better. Um, you have this optional, well, it comes with it, but you don't have to use it. This shoulder strap, which has is attached to the two sides, which you just pull down, and then it kind of locks it in place. As I mentioned, you don't have to use this. You can also take this off and lock up the pannier to the top, but as you can see, um, mine is actually too full to do that. So if you use the shoulder strap, you actually have a bit more space available in the pannier. And um, yeah, like I mentioned, this, in my opinion, is the better solution because this is also a bit annoying that you have to buckle up three things just to close the pannier, whereas with this one, you simply roll it up, click this through and pull the shoulder strap down and it's fastened. As I've mentioned before already, we have some quality issues with some of the 4D bags. Actually, only with my 4D bags so far. Um, my bag panniers are about three years old. I did have them before the journey and also the other bags, they're about two years old, the other panniers. Um, yeah, and I think in November or December, we noticed for the first time that the seams are actually opening up, um, which is a big problem because it makes the bag less waterproof or not waterproof. Um, we've sealed the holes with glue, um, but that's just a, yeah, not a permanent solution. And there are permanently also new 
holes like this one coming up, which we have to seal then again. Um, we've contacted Fadi about that, but we'll talk about that later. Um, also the front panniers, this one is all right, but um, the other one has, has some issues. Um, this hook just fell off on this bag and um, as we don't have the spare parts with us at the moment, um, I just had to use this bungee, um, but we'll have the spare parts soon. Um, also, this just broke like a week ago, I don't know how and why. And there's also a small hole in this bag, it's not, not a big issue, but still. Um, and I actually also had a for the um, handlebar bag, the aqua box, uh, which I replaced uh, while we were in Turkey because after I had an accident, the metal frame that was in there was quite um, bent. And I wasn't too happy with it anyway because it had deformed already a bit. So I decided to get the odd leap bag um, because I liked it, like the one that Toby had. Um, with Toby's 4D bags, we don't have any issues yet. Um, and also, the, all the Audley bags are fine so far. We don't have any issues with them yet. Topic number three, the portfolio of both brands. We have found that Audley um, has a larger assortment of bike um, panniers and bags and also non bike bags like the um, waterproof bag, the 109 liter one we are using to protect our guitar from the rain. Um, also they have bike packing stuff, um, which we didn't find a lot on the 4D website. Um, and one of, one of the reasons we have the um, rack pack from, uh, from Audley, it's not the only one, but one of the reasons is um, that the top case, which 4D has and which is similar to this one, is just not available. We looked for it in summer 2020, I think, which was uh, Corona time, um, and it wasn't available there. And we look now on the internet and it's still not <laughs> available. Um, so yeah, in total, we would say Oddleap has a bit bigger and better portfolio. All right, topic number four, customer service and spare part availability. Well, where to begin? This is quite a topic, especially when we're looking at Fodi. Um, let's start the story from the beginning. Um, as Luisa mentioned, we have and showed you, we have some quality issues with Luisa's Fodi bags. Um, these Fodi panniers have five years of warranty on them, and they are about three years old. So we wrote, um, we wrote Fodi mentioned the problem that we're having, that we're on the road and the seams of both back panniers are just open, opening up. And, um, well, to begin with, they didn't respond for a week or so. Then we wrote them a second email through their customer service online portal, uh, on which we then got a, to which we then got a pretty quick response within 24 hours, I think, mentioning that they would send us new panniers to just, yeah, completely replace these. Um, they did also mention that they in the past have had quality issues. Um, after receiving that response, we um, wrote them again with an address and so on, saying that we are in the US and that we're constantly on the move and we would have to know ahead of time where they would send it so we could arrive, like we could plan it ahead. Um, and after that communication, they just at some point stopped responding. This is a few, two or three weeks ago now. Um, and we have no idea if they already sent us gear, we asked for a tracking number, don't know. Uh, we don't know if, yeah, if they sent it, if so, where it is and what's happening. So to be honest, the customer service is absolutely appalling. That's pretty much how it is. Um, we also, at the same time, contacted Ortley about getting a replacement for actually all of our VD bags, the front. Uh, panniers and my rear panniers because we have said okay we want to we don't trust the quality of 4D anymore we want to go all Ortlieb and Ortlieb responded within 24 hours gave us a 
40% discount and within, I don't know, three or four days we had, for yeah, with a 40% discount, three new sets of back roller um, free um, sent to our parents in Germany um, and they're now waiting for someone to bring them to us so we can exchange all our Faudet panniers. And yeah, that is, on the other hand, much better customer service. Um, that is pretty much plain and simple how it is. Um, then spare part availability, as Louisa mentioned, uh, her hook fell off on her front uh, Faudet pannier and it's pretty hard because it's not such an international brand as Ortlieb to get um, spare parts. Faudet does have a branch in Canada and we were in touch with them by getting a spare part but then yeah, long story short, it was easier for us to order the parts in Germany and get them sent from by our parents to an address in the US and they have arrived. Um, on the other hand, Ortlieb parts uh, we could just order easily um, through Amazon US and it was there within a week. Um, we did actually carry Ortlieb and Fodé spare parts to begin with, but um, we gave them away to others who didn't have them. It's also a long story. Um, but yeah. The spare part availability is much better with Ortlieb internationally than it is with Faudi. Alright, so about a week has passed since we recorded the first part of our video, of our comparison video, but we actually have an update now. So we are currently in San Diego, we did it, we cycled across the USA, um, and um, as you can see, Faudi did actually manage to pull through and send us a replacement uh, to back panniers for Louisa's. Uh, broken or oh, opening panniers for free um, but as I already mentioned for the better part of three weeks or for three weeks now despite two follow-up emails for 4D we did have we had no idea even if these were even had been shipped um, so while we are yeah happy that they pulled through our opinion of the customer service hasn't really changed um, that being said um, these are a good solution now until the Ortlieb bags which we now bought and are in Germany will be delivered to us because literally a few days ago on my panniers now the seams are also opening up so this just again shows unfortunately really that we just yeah the quality of the products we hope these are better but just we don't trust them so as soon as we get our Ortlieb bags we're gonna end up replacing them yeah but we thought this was an important update to put in there. All right, last but not least, our verdict. Well, as you can probably already guess, um, we are much in favor of the Ortlieb products for many of the reasons, or pretty much all the reasons we mentioned already in this video. But um, to give Fadi some credit, what we do really like about Fadi is the whole concept of producing pretty eco, or producing products in an eco-friendly manner, locally in Germany as well. Um, but, on the other hand, Ortlieb, with its free series also producing in Germany, is not is pretty much doing the same thing now. Um, and the big problem we have with VD is that it tries to be a high quality brand, we feel like, but its customer service and support and so on just cannot keep up, and quality, unfortunately, cannot keep up with uh, the yeah what it's trying to do. As you mentioned, Fadi wrote us that they have had quality issues in the past, but we've heard from people buying brand new Fadi panniers that they are also having these issues that even after only a few months, the seams on their panniers are opening up. And going away from bicycle bags, we've also heard and seen images from other people that their Fadi tents and other products are also not waterproof, etc. And heard that their customer support is also lacking in that area. Um, that is things we've heard, we can only say about what we've actually seen with our own eyes and the interaction we've had directly with Fadi, um, but we can easily see how that is could be true. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, I'm sure there are going to be a bunch of comments about uh, people having different experiences to us or the, maybe even the same experiences that we've uh, had with these panniers and two brands and um, yeah we'd love to hear your feedback as well but before we quit we, we 
But before we be... <laughs> but before we be... What the hell? We begin... Warte auf, bis ich aufziehe, wenn ich das